You know, when y'all talk, I do listen. One thing about me when I went through therapy, before therapy, I was very, very hard-headed. Wouldn't listen to my ex-wife, wouldn't listen to my ex-girlfriend, and I, I would wind up getting in trouble <laughs> or getting hurt based on what they told me not to do. I did it anyway, because I think I, I thought I knew it all, right? Sometimes I still think that way. But um, I listened to y'all, the video I posted yesterday about when the man is upset could be possibly by about his ex-wife. Uh, was I, I was uh, unfair to you guys and gals. Uh, I didn't give y'all everything that I know about that. It wasn't done on purpose. I was trying to get the video in three minutes and post it, but uh, I know it may seem like I was very insensitive, but I wasn't insensitive, but I wasn't. So what I meant by the video is that for me, when I was upset with things, it was that false sense of reality. I would create things in my mind that I thought were happening, but they weren't happening. And so I would project and then I would react to what I thought was happening, but I was way off. My cognitive skills were way off. My ability to make a decision was way off and I learned that in therapy. And so when I make these videos, I'm very cautious and very, I try to be very aware of how you all will receive it. Because I understand I hurt a lot of women and some of you all are hurt by a lot of men like me and some men are hurt, are hurt by a lot of women like me. So I just want to clarify something that when I said help him with his anger about his ex, and I said nine times out of 10, that's, that's, it's probably, it could be less than that. But for the most part, when he or she, when they are angry, it's, it may not even be about the ex. And that's what I didn't make clear to you guys and girls and women, men and women. It could be that he or she, they are angry about something, about something else, about their inability to be a good boyfriend, a good husband, a good wife, a good girlfriend, their inability to be a good father and can't you know, convey that to you. So it could be many things. It's not just, I want you guys to help him out with getting over his ex. No, I wanted you guys and gals to help him rethink what he's going through at that moment. That false sense of reality, he could be wrong. And in the video I said, this is me, plus I was always the one that was wrong. So I just wanna extend this to you all and, and clear up yesterday because, ooh, that video, I was getting beat down. And so when you all talk, I listen. Some of y'all say, nah, you know, don't do this, and nah, nah, leave these men alone, and girl run, and blah, 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 you know, make him get therapy. I understand all of that, I really do. Um, therapy is a key thing. For me, I didn't get therapy until I was 46 to 48 years old. And so you all are right. Everything y'all said to me in, that, in, in the comments, you, you're right. And so I did not give you what I could have given you, and it wasn't done on purpose. But when that person is upset, him or her, my way of, the, the way that my exes would get me to come out of that funk was to sit down and talk to me and say, well, and to say, hey, Leon, did you think about these things? Because before that, I didn't think about anything but Leon, myself. And so when I would listen to her and she'd say, hey, think about this. Now I think about other things uh, as opposed to think about what I want to be right or, or what's not wrong, what's wrong with me and not want to ex not, not want to accept what's wrong with me. So what I meant by the video is to talk to him, help him or help her out getting out of their own way. Because I was always in my own way. Narcissistic people, narcissists are always in their own way. Their false sense of reality, what it appears to be is really not what it is. It was what I was making it to be for me. So I just want to post this video and help y'all out. Hopefully it helps out. But I appreciate the, um, the comments and things and the phone calls and put me on the right path again. Y'all have a great day.